Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll learn how to download and install Visual Studio Code Windows 7 32-bit VS Code not opening in Windows 7. So if you're having issues with your Visual Studio Code not opening on your Windows 7, then you're on to the right installation guide. So for us to be able to begin, just head on to your local browser and try to search in their VS Code downloads. So you should be able to see the website of Visual Studio Code in there. Just click onto that to get redirected onto their link. So as you can see, we're currently in already in here. What you need to do right after is to scroll down here until you should be able to find in the get previous versions. So just click onto that and you'll get redirected onto the previous release versions of the downloads for Visual Studio Code. Now, once you're already in here, you should be able to find in the release notes. Simply click onto that to find in the version of each month. So you should be able to find the updates here onto the left side. So you'll just need to scroll down in here since what we need to do is to find in here the versions that are working on Windows 7. So you could see different years and months in here onto the left side and the versions that are currently working for the Windows 7s are actually the versions that are from the year 2022. So you should be able to find the one in here. So we have June 2022. And you'll just have to click onto that one to view all of the updates for this. Now, right after, what we need to do is to go ahead and copy the download link for this version. So you could see that one here under downloads, we could see windows. This one, you'll just need to right click onto this and copy the link address for this. So you'll just need to go ahead and paste this onto another tab and you should be able to find in something like this. So what we need to do, we're going to remove this time 64 in here, just like that. And it should look something like this. Now to be safe, since this version is for June 2022, so there are still versions that are more applicable for Windows 7 in here or those versions before June. So we could try to download that one. You'll just need to go ahead and change the version for this. And instead of 69 in here, we could try to use the 67. And I think this one is around April 2022 version. We're going to go ahead and update the link just like this. Click on to enter and it will automatically download that version onto our device. So we're just going to wait for that one to be downloaded. And right after that one is done, it's time to install this. So you'll just need to simply click onto that one and then follow in the installation prompts for your device. So you should be able to find in something like this. So the first step is the license agreement. You'll just need to accept through that. Click onto next, choosing the file path, the startup menu folder. So you could also choose not to create one. Click onto next and also you could add in some additional tasks like icons or the open with code or other things in here. Just click onto next and once you're already set for that, it is ready to install. Just go ahead and click onto install in here and it should go ahead and set up your Microsoft Visual Studio code. So you'll just need to wait for this one. And once that one is done, it is actually set up already or it has completed the Visual Studio code setup. So just click onto finish and it will automatically launch the Visual Studio code onto your Windows 7. So as you can see, you are now able to open your Visual Studio code on your Windows 7 32 pin. And that is just basically it, how you do it. And if you think this has been helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and we'll see you on to our next video.